Okay, so this is Villa Friedheim, Friedheim, and what happened here is, um, <laughs> I think the story is that he was a lumberer, and um, I don't know if there was a misunderstanding with um, the numbers, if it was centimeters or meters. <laughs> But anyhow, um, it's a uh, huge, it's like really, really big. So, like, yeah, I'm only up to the, like, the beginning. This is the wall underneath, this is just the, like, this one and it just goes and goes forever so it's large it's a really really large building so it's worth taking a look just because it's so huge and then um, they have a little restaurant inside and they also have they have made it into um, uh, a, a fairy tale cottage so you go in here and then I think there's a little fee I'm gonna check that out and then you just go around and look at the fairy tales and you can have a bite to eat I have to check if it's actually open because it's out of season but there are people here but if they are here just to work or if they are here because it's open I'm I'm not aware of but anyway it's a uh, it's a large large it's a freaking large building, so it's worth just taking the trip just to see the building. You don't necessarily need to go inside, but to see. And it's also it's also very beautiful situated. So just going here, bringing your having some food, just sitting outside here, and having some food is also a great thing to do. Uh, it's not open. Last day is 28th of August and we are now in September, so um, it's not open. But yeah, just come here just to look at the building and the surrounding area. It's beautiful. It's a nice view and you have over there, the Ola, and then up here is the house. That is just so massive and so cool. And so big. <laughs> so yeah, I would I would just like it. even if it's out of season just coming here to see it. And just sitting in the garden is uh, is worth the trip. Sorry about my heavy breathing. I run down the hill 
been my dozen boy here. So this is the parking lot for Villa Friedheim. Friedheim. And it says here no camping. Camping for good. So I don't know what they mean. They mean camping like but I don't think they kill you if you stay here for a night. As long as you like still camp like I do and not you know especially outside of season on this time of the year. I don't think they care. So I parked all the way in the other end instead of next to the road going up to there. Also outside of season while they're close you can just drive all the way up because there won't be any cars so there won't be any troubles. Anyway look at this view. I like looking at churches. Churches. So this way road is private and I think it's the people uh, over there. There's a road in there are people living over there. So I guess those are the people that's like please don't park here. Because you know some people are always noisy and you know literal everywhere and uh, grill and yeah so look at this uh, so here there's a nice little dirty beach but anyway I like churches. I think they're beautiful. I wouldn't mind living in one. So that's it for this trek. <laughs>